pissing our pants here. Yeah. Hey guys, Kiwi here. Today, I wanted to discuss a connection that I actually noticed in the most recent episode of The Walking Dead with the comics, Season 7, Episode 3. Heavy spoilers ahead for the comic book storyline and what may end up happening in the TV show. So today, I wanted to focus on Daryl's failed escape attempt and what it meant to Negan exactly. In episode 703 of The Cell, Daryl attempts to escape his own cell as one of the guards filling in for Dwight left the door unlocked. He sneaks his way through the sanctuary trying to find an exit, but gets stopped by Sherry along the way. She tells him to go back and not to continue, as things can just get worse and worse. He listens to her warning but continues anyways, eventually getting caught by some of the saviors while trying to steal a motorcycle. Once Negan joins the saviors surrounding Daryl, he explains that this was all a big chance for Daryl to prove himself, but he failed. You see that? I am everywhere. And this was your shot to prove to me that that fundamental fact was sinking in and you failed. Which sucks because your life was about to get so much cooler. This was a test to see if he had learned the fundamental lesson Negan was trying to teach him. He wanted Daryl to really prove himself with this opportunity that had arisen to him. Negan wanted him to become obedient on his own, making his own decisions to stay put and fall in line. The door was left open for him, and he chose to try and escape. Sherry tried warning him, and he didn't listen. Negan set this up as a chance to see if he's fallen in line yet, and obviously he hasn't. Alright, so that all seems to make sense, but what does it have to do with the comics? Well, to answer that, let's actually take a look at Volume 24, Life and Death. This takes place two years after the end of Negan's story arc, and mind you, in the TV show, we're just at the very beginning. Once again, possible spoilers ahead, as this may play out the same on TV or at least some sort of variation. But now that that's out of the way, let's get right into it. So in the comics, Negan has been Rick's prisoner at Alexandria since the end of All Out War, residing in a single cell jail in a basement. As a quick side note, this is actually presumed to be the same cell that Morgan made back in Season 6. Anyways, Negan is finally seen getting a haircut along with a bath. After he gets put back in his cell and everyone is gone, he leans against it to notice the door swing open to his surprise. Negan was left alone with the cell door open, just like Daryl in Episode 703. So Negan had a world of possibilities right in front of him. He could have sabotaged Alexandria in god knows how many ways, he could have went out on a murderous rampage out of revenge, or he could have simply escaped somehow. This was actually cut and left at the end of issue 140 as a major cliffhanger, spilling over into issue 141 as Negan even gets the middle spotlight right on the cover art of the issue. So what does Negan end up doing after all of this build up? He actually just stays in the cell, unlike Daryl who tries to make a hastily made escape. Negan decides to stay put in hopes of gaining respect from Rick. That's right, he actually decides to fall in line with Rick by sitting there and patiently waiting for his reaction, which is exactly what happens. Rick is greeted by Negan, casually sitting in his open cell, proving he had no will to leave. This was a huge turning point as far as Negan's character went. And although he could have just been trying to manipulate Rick, I honestly believe that these were his true intentions. Negan wanted some sort of gain or reward from Rick for showing his trust in the fact that he had fallen in line, just like how he was going to reward Daryl in the show if he would have made the decision to try and not escape. This parallels Daryl and what Negan set up for him in quite a few ways it's kind of mind blowing if you think about it. Negan's whole idea comes from wanting to build trust with Rick. He is actually grown a liking to him and would one day love the opportunity to be a productive member of the new society. That does sound kinda corny, but he truly wants to redeem himself in any way possible, even though he knows how horribly small his chances of getting that to happen are. So Negan tries to make his case, telling Rick that he doesn't expect him to trust him from this, but he does expect some sort of recognition for what he did, in the hopes that it will slowly start to change Rick's perspective of him, therefore starting to also build trust between them. So although Negan doesn't expect Rick to just trust him right out of the get-go, he does want it to eventually come full circle and end with that result. Rick responds by letting him know that that will never happen, crushing his soul, but comic book readers all know how that actually ends up turning out. I won't spoil anything too specific in regards to that in the comics, other than saying that Negan honestly does eventually show redemption in my eyes, and he can be assigned as a very useful asset if controlled correctly. 
As crazy as some people may think Negan is, he is still a rational and logical person. He is carefully picking and choosing his battles wisely, and his following actions in the comics undoubtedly prove he is worthy of the ability to eventually be trusted more and more. So that unintentional mini soapbox out of the way, is it possible that this could all eventually happen in the comics? If it does, you better bet that I'll be hoping for Negan to mention the events involving Daryl's failed attempts in episode 703. Maybe the tables will be completely turned, as Daryl could even be the one to find him in his cage open instead of Rick. Who knows what role Daryl could be playing if he survives that long, and it is easily possible for him to build some sort of strong connection with Negan, causing even more emphasis on the situation. It would take such a long time to eventually see this scene on television and to complete the circle, but it would definitely be another example of amazing foreshadowing done by the Walking Dead creators. How do you guys think this all relates together? I definitely think that Negan's little test for Daryl at the Sanctuary was a subtle nod towards the comics, and either way, I am looking forward to more conflicts involving Negan and Daryl. I think that this really has potential for an amazing storyline to blossom, as Daryl never really was even in the comics whatsoever, and adding him into the story in this way gives his character a new place in all of this. The reason why I say this is because one major complaint with comic book fans, generally, is when a non-comic book character jumps into a situation they were never in, possibly changing it or even ruining the outcome of the scene. I've mentioned this before, but I think that they have really done a good job giving characters such as Daryl, Carol, and Morgan places in Season 7, considering that they didn't have a place in the comics since they weren't there. That's enough rambling out of me though, I'd love to know what you guys think of all this down in the comments below. Feel free to hit that like button if you've enjoyed or agreed with anything I've said today. But that's pretty much it guys, check out my other videos for more Walking Dead content, and I'll talk to you guys in the next Season 7 video. Thank you so much for watching, peace out.